and everybody in this room has a story worthy of being told. For healing um, and finding the beauty through the suffering and overcoming obstacles at a young age. No matter what you are going through, it is possible to survive. The integration is the point. This is the, this is the problem. We have to do more to integrate. But how do we change the traditional perception of Islam itself? Well, we need freedom of expression. I, mean, I think what we're learning is it's, it's not a chapter. It is, it is something that began in the 1880s and the, the reverberations continue to today. It, it, it's interesting how, how individual reaction, community reaction are quite different. You can be beautiful when you're broken and you know people will still love you and it's okay to love again and trust again after you've been hurt. I wanted to tell the story but then I realized how egregious it was legally which really put fire under me. There must be three things that need to be in a constitution. The first thing is human rights, the second thing is gender justice, and the third is religious freedom. We must keep racism as a ray of getting political power out of the argument if you don't want things like this to happen again. But I think what we are all missing, um, or at least for me, perhaps colleagues and friends, was sort of the emotional impact. I don't think that we ever connected emotionally with the story. Thank you very much for the film. I learned a lot from it. Uh, thanks, Chris, for this film. It was very powerful. Thanks for the film, Lucy. That was awesome. I want to thank you for a wonderful film. I mean, I had this wonderful feeling of hope that ran through it. We might actually be able to solve some really big problems and make the world a better place.